Hi everyone, coming up on this week's SIP Prep, I'm going to be focusing on remembrance and explaining why it is so important to our bereaved British Forces families. And then I'm going to be telling you how you can get involved and show your support. So November is fast approaching and I think I speak for everyone who's lost someone who served in the British Armed Forces when I say it's a bit of a difficult month. I know from speaking to other bereaved families that as we move towards the end of October, our thoughts automatically start to drift towards remembrance. I think that's only natural. Lee's been gone 11 years now and I still personally struggle with this time of year. It really does bring a mixed um, mix of emotions and feelings with it. Of course, I feel incredibly proud to see the whole country come together to remember our fallen, but it's also heartbroken because so many have lost their lives and I know firsthand what it's like for the families that are left behind. I also wonder and I start to think about what the schools will be doing to mark remembrance this year and how the kids will react. All the radio stations, TV shows, newspapers, magazines and social media platforms are all talking about remembrance, which has a really similar feel to when Lee was first killed and it brings back a lot of those dark memories from the really early days. As a parent, you start to think, what should we do as a family? When do I mention it to the kids? Should we go to visit the grave? Shall I attend a service? Uh, or do something in private with just as a family and it's the same every year even though I know remembrance happens every year I never seem to know what to do I normally ask the kids what they want to do and I just go with that actually although last year I did attend the march in London and surprisingly I found it really uplifting and a lot more positive than I thought it was going to be I felt so overwhelmed with pride um, I couldn't have been any prouder to be Lee's wife and walk behind the veterans with some of our Scotty members and their families that day. This year, the march obviously can't happen, um, so Scotties aren't able to bring families to London to take part, but we are doing everything possible to ensure that they know that the Scotties community is right behind them and that we can all still honour our heroes um, in our own way. Every remembrance, all our members are sent a £20 meal voucher so they can have some family time together. We find the vouchers actually can trigger conversations about their loved ones and help the families who don't always know what to do. So this year we're still sending these vouchers, however due to the current restrictions in some areas and some of our families having such high anxiety levels, we've decided to change the voucher so it includes shops and online shops so everyone can benefit. We're also providing our members with a Scotty Remembrance poster that they can download and colour in and then display in their window with pride. And we're helping them by providing them with lots of different ways that they can remember their hero this remembrance. I'll also have the honour of laying a wreath on Remembrance Sunday on behalf of all of the Scotty members and in memory of all their heroes. At Scotty's we have a November to Remember campaign this year to encourage our supporters to remember our service men and women who have made the ultimate sacrifice and at the same time to show their support to our bereaved service families. The team have come up with so many great ideas and there is something that suits everyone. So please, please get involved and show your support during this incredibly difficult yet proud time. You could sign up to take part in our five mile hero walk, which you can do at your own leisure throughout the month of November. Or if you really want to push yourself, you could sign up for the Scotty Challenge. It's a high endurance workout that goes live from the 1st of November, but actually many people like to take on the challenge over Remembrance Weekend in honour of our fallen heroes. You can post your time to add a bit of a competitive element too if you want. If exercise isn't your thing, you could just simply buy your hero a pint. This is such a great way to raise a glass in memory of your hero, but also support the children they've left behind. You simply donate via our Facebook page and then you add a comment about your hero or you leave a photo of them. Our November to Remember raffle is also happening this month and the draw will take place at our virtual ball on the 28th of November. Tickets for the raffle and the ball are available via our web shop, so make sure you check those out. For me personally, November is a time for reflection. As well as thinking about Lee, like I do every day, uh, it's also a time where I look back and I think about the difficulty of losing Lee and how that's been for my kids. And also all the other kids out there who have lost a parent who served. Life can get very busy, but it is really essential to step back sometimes and remind myself exactly why Scottish is important and focus on making sure that we're continuing to offer the, the support that is so badly needed. This week, I looked back over photos and old footage and I came across an ITV documentary that I filmed back in 2015.
2015 called Young War Widows. It's not an easy watch for me, to be honest. Um, I talk about losing Lee in quite some detail, and although you know, it often upsets me and remind, it reminds me and encourages me to continue to push forward and make life better for our bereaved um, forces children. If you want to take a look, we'll post the link on this page and actually all our videos are on our YouTube channel, which is Scotty's TV. Whatever you do this remembrance, please, please just make sure that you take the time to remember Lee and all our heroes who have made the ultimate sacrifice. Stay safe. There's a really easy way to help support Scottish Little Soldiers and that's by subscribing to our YouTube channel. You can even hit the notification bell and that will notify you every time we upload a new video. Please like, comment and share our videos. It all helps create an impact in the awareness.